The bus is how Kenny and Aaron Sabish usually get to Oak Hill Elementary, but not Monday morning. He told us to not have the kids go on the bus, that they were not going to be coming into our neighborhood. Christina Sabish and her boys stayed inside most of the day after another explosion, this one down the road from their home. It's heartbreaking, really. Sabish is now warning her children. Not to go near anything that looks suspicious, any unattended bag. AISD is also trying to make sure their students stay safe. Parents received this email Monday afternoon saying staff are carefully examining all mail deliveries and calling police if they see anything suspicious. And they're encouraging parents to talk to their kids. I've heard the fourth bombing was a tripwire, so I don't want to just I want to be aware of what's around me. From now on, we're going to make sure we're a little more aware of our surroundings. Sabish says she feels safe sending her kids to school, especially since the district is keeping parents in the loop. When people feel informed, they're not as scared. AISD is also staff members at the school district uh, doing perimeter checks out here, walking outside the building, also inside the building, looking for anything suspicious. They're also reminding parents to go in the main entrance, the visitor's entrance, and make sure you check in at the main office. And they say, don't let anybody piggyback off your entry into the school. They say, tell that person to wait to be let in. Back to you. Thank you, Lauren. And the Austin Independent School District also telling families that they will be excusing any absences for folks who live here in the Travis Country neighborhood and simply couldn't get to school today. Also, two big private schools in Austin decided to close classes or close, cancel classes altogether today. That is the Regent School, also St. Andrews, which are really close.